All right. Earlier in the show, I asked our viewers if they would be able to do a zero waste for a week. Uh, you know, I wish we weren't talking about this because I don't know if I can do it. But I'm going to ask all of our experts the same <laughs> question. What would you need to make it happen? And Shobhan, I'm going to start with you. Um, so Mike and I sat down to talk about this. We've been trying to go zero waste for some time now, taking baby steps. I just ordered these reusable um, grocery bags to replace our single-use uh, plastic bags for like fruits and vegetables that we collect at the groceries. And I think the next big step is really um, stopping online purchasing because there is so much waste that comes in with packaging. Okay, Joy, <laughs> if I were to ask you this question, could you do zero uh, waste living? I I'm pretty sure the answer would be yes, but you tell me. Could you do it? So I feel like we actually have very little garbage, I'm proud to say, but it was something that took a long time. Like it wasn't just like one day we're like, let's really reduce our waste. It's something we've been definitely working on, I'd say for like the last decade, really getting less garbage. And it's funny, the new place we moved into, they have a gigantic garbage bin. And we were just discussing the other day that we actually have to pay for it. Um, and why do we have such a large garbage bin? We could probably get a really small one. So I'm proud to say I think we totally could do it because we definitely have before. What I love hearing is that it wasn't an overnight situation. It's happened incrementally, and yeah. I think that that's really encouraging for, for folks sure. out there like myself who are working on trying to be better uh, step by step. Okay, over to pay. Pay, I imagine you probably don't have a lot of waste, but I could be wrong. Could you do zero waste living, though? Like, for a long time, I would have a challenge. For a short period, definitely I could. Um, I think... As we move into spring, summer, when we have more local produce, I do find I have a lot less food waste in general. That includes packaging. I also find a lot of cleaning products still come, you know, wrapped in plastic. So even your paper towel, your toilet paper, you know, you got to open up the package. Um, I have switched to using laundry detergent strips, and they come packaged in a cardboard box versus the plastic container. So those are just small changes I think most people uh, can make. And those are the things that are going to have big impact because you can actually do them. You'll actually do them. Jules, I don't feel like I need to even ask you this question. You are, are like, you are our example of zero waste living. So, but you also have four kids and a dog. Exactly. I have been learning on this journey, you know, for almost two decades now on what sort of a sustainable lifestyle could be like. And the most important thing, and I know it's been the theme of today, but it really is just pick one thing. Like, Online packages, non-delivery, like that's a big one, baby. That was good. <laughs> but I mean, just a small thing. Maybe it's switch out your laundry detergent and stick with it. Done. You've begun your zero waste journey. 100%. One thing, everyone. Doesn't that make it seem a little bit more doable, a little bit more accessible?